Thursday. Right now, me and Drew, what time is it? 1021. We're headed to Mimi's Diner the other way, right? We've been here at least like once a week. So ever since we found out about this place, I think it was one time we went twice, like back to back. Cause it was, it's just that good y'all. So if you live near here, definitely go try it out. We love going here. They probably know us by name by now. And then I think later on, later this afternoon, I'm gonna head to um, the mall maybe, or TJ Maxx, because I really wanna get the, the kids at least two pair of jeans. They need some more jeans. And then I think we're doing more clothes shopping for the kids, um, what, Friday? On Friday. So we're gonna get them some more stuff because it's starting to get cold and they need some more long sleeves. So um, we're gonna stock up on like a bunch of winter stuff for them. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and head to Mimi's. I'm gonna get my usual, the French toast with the eggs, the bacon, and the house fries, I think that's what it's called, or home fries. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try anything different today because I'm like really craving that French toast. And you're getting the meat lovers omelet, right? With the blueberry waffle. With the blueberry waffle. A lemonade and an orange juice and then I got a water and an orange juice we already ordered but I'm still looking at the menu this stuff just sounds so good like the buffalo chicken ranch wrap a burger sounds good turkey was that what my grandma got was a turkey club or did she get no I think she got I don't know what she got she got one of those turkey sandwiches and it was like shredded turkey, not like not lunch meat turkey, like shredded, literal shredded tur turkey. It was, it looked really good. And this is where we are. So good. Our food just came. Drew got the meat lovers omelet and one blueberry waffle. And one blueberry waffle. And then I got the French toast with the home fries, eggs, bacon, and toast. And we just ordered two strawberry shortcakes for dessert. Our strawberry shortcakes just came. We're not even like, we didn't even make a dent in our food yet. Hopefully there's no like ice cream or anything at the bottom. Yeah, but oh well. We just made it back from Mimi's and I stopped at the mailbox. I got Walmart and Sam's Club ads. So I'm gonna look through that today sometime. It's fun, ain't it? <laughs> it's like really smooth. But I told you guys that I'm trying out some uh, new products. So I bought these spray bottles. These aren't the spray bottles that I'm actually going to use for my business. But I'm going to use these to test out. But here's how they look. So the spray bottles that I'm going to use, that I'm going to purchase for my business, are actually going to be, I think, a little bigger than this. And they're going to have the same type of spray thing applicator. So it's going to be really easy to spray. But I actually kind of like these. But the spray bottles that I'm gonna buy um, are gonna have the bamboo to match all the other bamboo stuff that I have for my business. So these are for my hair business and it came with three. So I'm gonna test out different types of hairsprays. So I'm really excited about that. I may go ahead and make some stuff later today, maybe after I leave the mall. So I am headed out. I'm about to head to the mall. Actually, I think I'm gonna head to Walmart first. No, I think I'm gonna head to the mall first and then go into uh, the children's place and see if they have some deals on some jeans because baby Drew needs a couple pair of jeans again. For some reason, she's outgrown the ones that I bought for school. So they're like above her ankle. So we can't be having that in the winter time. So I'm gonna go and get her some more jeans, maybe like two pair. I'm gonna head to Walmart because I need to get some spaghetti noodles because I'm gonna make uh, spaghetti and meatballs tonight for dinner. And then we have one more loaf of baguette the baguette bread that I bought yesterday at Sam's Club. We still have one more loaf of that, so I don't need to buy any like garlic bread or breadsticks. We're just gonna eat that. But I wanna show y'all how beautiful the trees look. Look how beautiful the trees are. to run to TJ Maxx to see what they had. And look how cute this backpack is. Oh man, how much is it? It's only $25. Oh my goodness. 
I'm probably not gonna do it today, but look how cute that is. This Michael Kors bag is so cute. It almost looks similar to the one that I have. I can never find any cute shoes. No. This looks small. What size is that out? Eight? I guess I could fit that. Mm. Nah. Not the S. I love this. $19.99 and they have one in like copper rose gold and they still have this one but they also have this one girl you are fabulous and then this one is super cute it's for $14.99 love that one Found this outfit for $12.99. She's gonna love this one. For $10.99. This one is super cute for $12.99. I just left out of TJ Maxx and I only ended up getting like four things. I got Baby Drew a pair of jeans and I got her two outfits. I ended up just getting those few things and now I'm about to just head to Burlington and then see what they have in here. Cause y'all know last time I went to Burlington, I hit the jackpot on the clothes and the outfits and the matching sets for the kids. So I'm gonna run in here and see what they have. And the lighting is always so bad in my car. But yeah, I'm gonna go run and see what type of stuff they have for, I'm probably just gonna look for Brock because I was not able to find Brock anything in TJ Maxx. This TJ Maxx always has cute girl clothes. It's a hit and miss with me sometimes, but they never, ever have anything for boys. So I'm probably just gonna have to hit up, oh, I forgot they have JCPenney in here. But I think I might just hit up Burlington and then the children's place for pants. Uh, I may end up getting him a couple of shirts. I don't know. He really, they really both don't need any shirts. They really just need pants. So I'm going to try to look in just the pants for right now. And then if I come across some cute shirts, of course I'll get them. But yeah, so that is the plan right now. I got to go drive around until I find Burlington. Here are options. We have this Adidas shirt, which I really like. And I really like this one. I really like this Tupac shirt. I just took a picture and sent it to Drew and waiting for his response. I don't know how I feel about this Calvin Klein, but it's only $7.99. And then this Nautica one, which is $7.99. I know for a fact I'm getting this one. And this one, and probably this Adidas. I don't know about the Tupac. Probably not that Calvin Klein. I'm gonna hold on to these. So I just made it back home. I have, is my exposure up too high? I think so. The first place I went to was TJ Maxx. I just went ahead and got the kids what they needed. I'll go back and get me some stuff later. I did a whole bunch of shopping last week for myself. I have on the sweatpants that I bought last week. So I really didn't need nothing. So I just made sure I went ahead and got the kids what I knew they needed. I went up a size on all of their clothes because I think they've grown from when school started until now. So I went up a size on all of their clothes. So instead of getting baby Drew like a six or a seven, I think I got her like an eight. So, oh, these are a seven. Hold up, because I thought the thing said eight. This is a size seven. Okay, so maybe I was getting her a six and this time I got her a seven. So these are definitely uh, long enough for her. But I got these jeans from TJ Maxx for $12.99 and then I went into the children's place to see like how much they were in there. I think they were at $13.99. So I actually got a better deal just going to TJ Maxx for her. So I got her a pair of jeans and me and Drew are doing more shopping tomorrow. We're supposed to be. Hopefully he's up for it. He has a 25 mile tonight, which means I'll see him in the morning. And so I think he said it's like an eight hour ruck. So I don't know. He's probably going to sleep most of the morning when he gets home tomorrow. So if he's up for it, we may go and get the kids more stuff. I know we need to get them some shoes, so 
I'll take you guys along with us for that. But I did get Baby Drew this two piece. I could not pass this up. This was so cute. So I think I got her a seven in this as well. Yeah, so a seven in these. She's gonna love this. Oh, who's calling me? And then the top for it is so cute. Look at that. It like ties, it's not, it doesn't tie in the front, but it kind of is like shriveled in the front. It is so cute. She's gonna love this. And then I just got her this. She has enough unicorn shirts and pink stuff. So I needed to switch up the colors for fall. So I thought this would be really cute for fall. And the leggings have like flowers on it. The shirt says Amore. But yeah, I thought this outfit was really cute for like school. And then I got some plantain chips again from TJ Maxx. But this time I got jungle chili. The regular plantain chips that I got there were so good. Mmm, mmm. This is so good. Have like a little kick to it. And then this is the children's place in Burlington. He was like, do you want to throw all, everything in here? I said a pan for a bag. I was like, yeah, go ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Burlington first because it's on top. I got myself a pack of socks. I got some Minnie Mouse socks. And they had a pack of 10 for $6.99. So I immediately snatched this up because your girl needed some socks. And then, like I said, I went up on the size on the kids. So before I was buying Brock an eight, I went ahead and got a 10. So um, this was $7.99. It's a Nautica long sleeve shirt. This shirt might be a little big, but um, through washes, it'll probably shrink a little bit. So I'm not too worried about it. And then I got him this shirt. I couldn't pass that up. I really like the colors in it. And then from Burlington, I got him this Adidas shirt. I really liked this orange color. It's so crazy because today at school they were wearing orange and black. <laughs> so this would have been perfect for that. But this is a really nice shirt for him. And then from the children's place, I got him one pair of jeans. So before I bought him, I think a size eight, which they still fit, but I could still go up a size. So I got a size 10, he'll just have to wear a belt with it. But these are gonna fit him really well. And what I'm gonna do at the bottom is just like roll them up so they're not too long. But he can definitely, he's gonna be able to fit these. So I got him a size 10 in jeans and I got like a dark wash so they'll go with like all of his shirts. But they did have a sale on these jeans so if me and Drew go back shopping tomorrow, I'm gonna stop in and get him and her some more jeans because they really did have a good price on them. I think they were, how much did the jeans come up to? The jeans came up to $15.59. I think they were on sale for like $14.99. This was all of Brock's stuff. And then from Walmart, I got some distilled water for um, the hair mist spray that I'm making. I need some distilled water. And then I got some wavy chips. Okay, you guys tell me the difference. What's the difference between wavy and ripple? Cause they had both of those. I went ahead and stuck with the wavy ones, but what's the difference? I don't know. They, they look the same on the bag. I really couldn't tell. I needed some spaghetti noodles tonight. I actually have the oven preheating um, because I'm making spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight. And then with my chips, I also got some dip because I love chips and dip as like a late night snack. And then I got some more yogurt. I'm gonna, I need to put yogurt into my smoothies in the morning. So I got just original vanilla yogurt. I wasn't to get the Greek yogurt, but the Greek yogurt was like $3 and some change. And this was $1.98, so I went with that. And then I don't know if the kids wanna eat these when they get home from school or maybe they wanna take these for a snack. But I got them these apples, and I think Brock's come with like, it says turkey sausage bites. Then it comes with these like star, um, look like Cheez-Its. It has some fruit snacks up there and then some apples at the bottom. And then hers comes with fruit snacks, crackers, and then apples. So if they see this, they might want this tonight, but I kind of wanted them to take it for a snack tomorrow at school. But that was everything that I picked up today at TJ Maxx, Burlington the children's place in Walmart. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and start dinner and I'll catch up with you guys later. All 
All right, y'all, I need to be outside like now. The kids bus will be coming in literally a few minutes. So what I usually do is just like stand at the end of the corner, but I have the food in here cooking. I still have six minutes left on the meatballs and the water is just starting to boil for the pasta. So I'm about to just go ahead and throw it in here. And what I'm gonna do is like run outside very last minute. That way I don't have to like leave the house and leave the food in here cooking. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this pasta in and then run outside. I think that should be enough because it's just me and the kids eating tonight. Kids just got home. Hey guys. Where's my, the iPad? The tablet? I think it's upstairs. Okay, go get it. I thought you were going outside. Oh, I've never been outside. Uh-uh. No. Alright. You forgot to charge it. It's not charged. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, what's charged enough? It's at 53. That charger lasts a long time. The kids are about to try on their clothes, and I just realized her sweatsuit matches my pants. Except mine is green at the bottom. Right now, I'm about to bottle up my hair growth serum because I'm completely out. I still have some split in serum though, but this has been sitting for a couple of days. So this is good and ready to be bottled up. I have my cheesecloth right here to catch any of the extra stuff. And then I also have my sifter right here. And then what I'm gonna do is just take it from this, strain, this bowl to this bowl. So I have the strainer and then the cheesecloth. So what the cheesecloth cloth is gonna do is just catch any of the small stuff that falls in here. Since I only strain it one time, there may be some little bitty particles left in there. So if you get an oil bottle and at the bottom you see some like black dusty stuff, that's just what that is because I only strain it one time. But that's all good because all you have to do is shake it and you get a little bit of extra of these herbs in your bottle. So. And these herbs and the essential oils are really gonna help with the hair growth. Look at how beautiful that just strains out. And then the herbs get left right there. These are the beautiful herbs that I use in my hair growth oil. So right there is where the extra herbs are gonna settle in. And like I said, you can just mix this up and it'll dissolve again. But over time, it'll settle and you can just shake the bottle every time you're ready to use it. I like to keep that in there just so you don't have the actual herbs floating around the oil. You kind of just have like what's dissolved into the oil, which I think is really, really good for your scalp and really good for your hair strands as well. So you really get everything in the herbs and in the oil. This was all the bottles that I had. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 bottles left. So I'm gonna need to place another order. But now I'm gonna put the tops on them and put them over in my office. Here it is, available for purchase on my website at prettyhaircarellc.com. So I am done with all of the hair growth serums. I wiped them down with alcohol, but this is how they look. I have them all back here, and then I have the split in serum. I have one hydrating curl cream and one twist out cream, but I'm going to be making more tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna make it tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Bye. I'm filming too.